Hey guys, I have a fits of the yawning. I have a, I have a fit of yawns. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. I am so tired. This morning I had no caffeine because I didn't, whatever, we were like out of our caffeine at the house. So I am going right now to Starbucks I'm going to go to the drive-thru and try to wake up. I'm super tired, but I figured I would talk to you guys for a few minutes while I do this and just check in, see how everyone's doing. Hopefully you guys are all good. Today is Tuesday. This video will be going up the same day that I'm making it. And today is my day at the office, if you guys didn't kind of guess from me running out, not that it matters, but I wanted to kind of get everyone's opinion on things because I, I come to my subscribers to gauge how everyone's feeling and what everyone thinks about stuff. The last Without a Crystal Ball video that I posted a few days ago, it was well received. Those videos always get views. We've gone down that road before. Because people enjoy watching, you know, any dumpster fire on the internet, especially one that involves Katie Joy. But I wanted to give her some advice. I realize that she's not going to take my advice, but, you know, I, I shared it anyway. And, you know, I, I, I did that video as an avenue to also just remind everyone that just because you don't care for someone's actions on YouTube, the video criticizing them doesn't need to be filled with negativity or toxicity. It can be delivered in a manner completely opposite of that, in fact. But I got a handful of comments on that video. It was really not many, but it was a few. And I'm getting the vibes from you guys, the ones that left these comments, that you guys are kind of done with the Katie Joy fiascos. You guys are done with, you know, hearing about it. And I think that this comes also at a time where many creators have just gone completely overboard with content. I think that that also makes people, the videos that I put in throughout here and there, people are tired of it all. Whether or not you're a creator who uploads every day about it or, you know, once a week, it doesn't matter. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about that because I, I'll be completely um, honest with you guys as I always am. I'm getting kind of tired of it too. And I've never really followed, you know, what she does and what she's up to. Typically what I will do is I will go over to Reddit and also check her YouTube channels to see kind of what she's been up to and then I will make my video and that's it, you know. But I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Are you guys kind of tired of it too? I'm still going to make videos about her sporadically and spaced out, but as far as being on the side of it, watching it, I think that People that are watching it and not reacting to it for a YouTube video, that's, you know, really what I'm curious about. Are you guys like tapped out and just sick and tired of her in general? I meant to ask him, I need to get an, another one of those like $3 tumblers. I don't know if they have any, if they have them. I'll grab one because I like to be able to make my tea at work and take it home. So, and we use those clear Starbucks tumblers all the time. I'll show you guys if they have them and I get one. 
I'll show you what they look like. They're just the ones, they usually have them in a basket by the cash registers, and they're, you know, three bucks. They're really good, really nice to use. It's really interesting to me how the, the side of YouTube that reacts to Katie really, it's a really interesting thing to watch because I feel like a lot of us made videos saying why we don't agree with Katie and the overall consensus is that she's toxic and doing bad things on YouTube in the way that she handles her platform. But now you see that there's a lot of toxicity within the anti-Katie Joy community. Like, I don't even want to call it a community because, you know, that's... When I think of a community, I don't think that's... I don't imagine something that is, you know, sort of sprinkled with toxicity. At least I don't think of it that way. I want to also... Um, I want to apologize to you guys because even though this is not my fault, I, I want to extend an apology to you guys because some of you guys were um, mistreated when you tried to defend me and I really don't want to talk about it today, but I want to let you guys know that I sincerely appreciate anyone who has tried to defend me or even, you know, come at it from a neutral stance and you were mistreated or verbally um, insulted, I just want to say I'm sorry. Even though it's not something that I did, I appreciate my subscribers so much and it's not okay. I don't think I've been to a Starbucks that doesn't have those reusable cups. There's a first time for everything, isn't there? I did want to just extend my apology to you guys because it, it's not okay. It's not for, okay for um, for any creator to speak to others that way. But it does really kind of hurts my feelings to see these kinds of things happening just because there's a differing opinion. There's ways that you speak to people and there's ways that you don't speak to people. So that's all that I'll say about that. So on to something brighter. I am going to get my hair cut on, I almost said Wednesday, it's actually Thursday. I was gonna get my hair cut before Christmas but my, the girl that cuts my hair wasn't available and the day that she was, I was working, so it doesn't matter. I'm going, going on Thursday. I'm not gonna chop it like super short. I'm just gonna have her kind of clean it up and maybe take, um, you know, maybe a little, a little less than an inch. like. When, when, your hair, when your hair is as short as mine is, an inch is a lot of hair. So I don't think that I'll be making it super short. I can definitely get it cleaned up and feel, feel good about it. I still have the holiday cups at Starbucks. So today I got a venti. Instead of getting a grande and a venti cup, I actually got a venti triple cinnamon dolce with two raw sugars oh my god that is super hot i have been considering going to ulta and trying they have like a um a hair gloss maybe if i if i can find a photo i'll throw a photo up so you guys can see what i'm talking about but there's a hair gloss and it's not a clear gloss you actually you actually pick your color and I was thinking about buying it and trying it after I get a haircut I don't want to change my hair color but I was thinking of you know if the hair gloss just kind of 
adds some extra luster to it and I don't know maybe just like an overall like brown luster vibe I could review it for you guys and see is it easy to use is it annoying is it a piece of garbage so I might do that I need to look at the price again though because some hair glosses can be super expensive and if it's not technically changing your hair color then is it worth the price that they're charging because as far as my hair being healthy my hair has never been healthier than it is right now and the reason is is because i don't have any color on it so historically when i would have either bleach or permanent hair color or mm, it wasn't too bad with um demi permanent but if i had any type of bleach or permanent hair color my hair would be super unhealthy and so i went a very long time with dealing with all of that it was funny so i put up that mica video yesterday and it was regarding how much money she makes on youtube and all this kind of stuff and i always get that one commenter anytime i talk about family vloggers I get at least one comment it's usually only one depending on you know how many people see the video but there will be that one person who says no you can't um, you shouldn't do anything to mess with their pockets because then you're hurting the children and it's like what is the worst thing that could happen these moms aren't allowed to be youtubers anymore and they have to go get normal jobs like if, if that's the worst case scenario for someone, then I would say you have it pretty fucking good. It is so foolish how some of these people just, no matter which angle you look at it, it's like, oh, but you're going to hurt the children if you um, try to, you know, cancel them or get them off YouTube. Like, nobody's saying the parents can't be on YouTube, but we all know that the, the children is what drives the views so if the worst case scenario by getting the kids off means that the parents have to work who fucking cares it's so ridiculous so anyway you guys i'm gonna hop off now this was a quick little video but i got my coffee i need to go back to the office and finish the day so if you like the video please leave me a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye